Show not tell. This is where the writer can describe a character or a setting or something uh, without just simply telling the reader what it is. It's by describing things through action, through things that happen, or giving little clues along the way that let the reader uh, imagine what it, it actually is uh, in their own way. Um, it could end up slightly different to the author, um, but at the end of the day it allows uh, the reader a little bit of freedom to imagine what it is that they need to imagine. So in this case I'm going to um, start by describing some of the features to do with Fluffy. Um, but the first thing I need to do is I need to just identify these characters' features um, so that I know what it is that I need to describe. And it's just really simple in the sense of what do you see, what can you hear, what have you seen on the YouTube clip. Looking at this picture straight away, I can see it's got three heads. It's a dog. It, from watching the video, from looking at the picture, I can tell that its size is huge. It's, it's a really big creature. It's fierce and it's vicious. And maybe I might want to start looking at something that isn't quite as obvious. Maybe the fact that it's got a collar on its neck to show that it has an owner. Because if you have a dog, you put a collar on it. So it shows other people that it does actually have an owner. I'm not going to worry too much about the, the setting, so the floor or the walls or the windows. I'm not worried. <laughs> Excuse me, just sneezed. <laughs> I'm not going to worry too much about the setting, I just want to focus on the actual character itself uh, because that's the, th the thing I'm going to describe.